one of the clever things that we did with 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 production was we kind of got a 3d print a rough print yeah. print of the dog and it was all prepped and um and, and painted you we still extended. have it yeah can you show us this is the original robot dog. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My name is Russell Wager. I'm the Vice President of Marketing for Kia America. My name is David Angel. I'm the Founder and Creative Chairman of David and Goliath. I'm Phil Crow, uh, Founding Partner of Parliament and Visual Effects Supervisor uh, and Creative here. And I'm Michael Novokomet. I'm a Visual Effects Producer here. Well, let's start with a high-level summary of the spot for viewers who might not have seen it. This is our 13th Super Bowl spot. It's called RoboDog, and it opens on an electronic store where a lonely robotic puppy staring out the window, sees a real dog that is lovingly petted by passerbyers out for a walk, and RoboDog then notices a young man unplug his Kia EV6 from a charging station and drive away. At that moment, the door to the store opens and RoboDog seizes that opportunity to give chase to the man in the EV6. Can you talk to me a little bit about the inception for this idea? Kia is undergoing a total transformation. We have definitely moved away from celebrities and more towards talking about our Accelerate the Good program and taking the stage of the Super Bowl to be able to explain how we're doing good in our local communities. Knowing that we were going to have a um, hundred million people watching this, we wanted to look at ways of telling the story of our innovation and sustainable mobility solutions that we're trying to let people know that we're doing. When it comes to commercial, Super Bowl is like the Oscars of advertising. There's a heightened level of importance considering the number of people that tune in to um, enjoy both the game and the ads. In some cases, there are hundreds of ideas put up in the boardroom. You have to make sure that whatever you're creating, it's something that no one's ever seen before. We sat down, we thought, well, how can we personify Kia's electric vehicle in a way that nobody else could? And we kept coming back to the simplicity of this electric dog. We were very fortunate to work with Biscuit and their production uh, company and our VFX geniuses over at, uh, at Parliament. With a job like this, you you know, it's predominantly carried by, you know, a CG sort of asset, dog, wh wh whatever it is. There's, there's quite a bit of an established formula of how you do this. We were lucky enough to see two out of three of the, the treatments. And then once the director got selected, we um, uh, worked very closely with, 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 uh, with Noam and the production designer to develop what this dog could look like. We had the overall design of the dog locked after a little while, after the thousands of versions. The one thing we changed all the time was the eye shape, how the eyes moved, how they expressed emotion. We kind of landed on this in between with the camera lens kind of eyes yeah. where they expand when he's happy. We did have a, a little small plastic stand-in. With two-tone here for, for, for CG reading, uh, a color and how the light hits it, everything. So um, he's actually to scale of the the end product. That was on set to represent where the dog would be relative to everyone else that was around doing their action. While that's happening, we're working on animation and bringing this dog to life. Just the collaboration of everybody on this project yeah. was, I mean, from Biscuit to David and Goliath to editorials. It takes a village, right? And we have some amazing, amazing human beings here at David and Goliath who work their hearts and souls all throughout the that nine month process. They sweat the details right to the pupils of the eyes of RoboDog. It was those late nights I would get the calls. We would look at the CG together. We would just examine it. And that process is very challenging uh, to people. And I just have to commend my team and the team at Kia for, for really coming together as, as one to create this uh, amazing piece. You guys sort of took this campaign to another level too with the addition of the AR component. When it comes to Super Bowl, we don't see it as a, a commercial, we see it as an entire experience and one that begins a few weeks prior to the game and, and continues long after. And the omni-channel approach enables people to experience RoboDog on so many different levels. RoboDog was able to find his forever home. And while over uh, 100 million viewers were able to see him on TV, we wanted them to actually be able to bring them home and sort of interact with it. So we collaborated with 14.4 to bring a uh, robot dog to life and kicked off Kia's first ever immersive augmented reality. That allowed animal lovers to scan uh, a QR code and bring robot dog into their own home and find and adopt a pet in need in their local communities. We wanted to make it so that anybody that saw this or we can get the message out would make it so that they wouldn't have to pay any of the fees 
to adopt a, a dog from a shelter. It all enabled the public to bring RoboDog into their lives and connect on a more personal level. What was the public reception to the ad? They loved it. I started to get emails from friends within the industry saying, I think you have a winner. And it was the number one of all automotive ads in the USA Today ad meter and number four overall out of the 62 ads. So I would say the customers are taking away the message we're asking them to, to get.